Hey guys, this is Ashikam Mathur. In this video, I am going to explain one of the Linux question I got uh, from a recent interview. Okay, so this is very simple question. So let's see what is the question and how I resolve the issue. Okay, so here you can see virtual machine 1, virtual machine 2, virtual machine 3. So the interviewer was saying, Ashik, I have a 3 virtual machine and virtual machine 1 want to connect virtual machine 2. Virtual machine, uh, virtual machine 1 want to connect virtual machine 3 also. Okay, so the problem here is, so they don't want to execute this command. See, we already know, see, if there's all virtual machine in the same network, we will be able to access by using private IP. And if you have a public IP for this VM, then also we will be able to access even though it's a different, different network, right? But the problem here, we don't want to use this command. So we want to create a custom command. For example, if you want to connect VM2, then we have to execute VM2 here. It will automatically connect to VM2. If you want to connect to VM3, then you have to execute VM3 here instead of executing key name, username, password of this uh, virtual machine. So let's get started and see how to resolve this issue. For this, we need three virtual machine. I have already created three virtual machine. So VM1, VM2, VM3. So I created host name of VM1, VM1, host name of VM2, VM2, host name of VM3, VM3. Let me go to the terminal and you can see uh, Ubuntu VM1, this is the virtual machine 1, you can see 196, this is IP, private IP, VM2, 137 and VM3, this is triple one. Now we have to authenticate between virtual machine 1 and virtual machine 2, virtual machine 1 and virtual machine 3. So this is we can do by using SSH uh, passwordless authentication or password authentication. So uh, you can try with any, any of the method, no problem. I have already uploaded this public key with the virtual machine 2 and virtual machine 3. So first let's try to connect my virtual machine 2 from virtual machine 1. So I have to use SSH command, SSH, I'll call this as Ubuntu at the right and virtual machine 2 IP and then this is connected to virtual machine 2 now see VM2 it was earlier in virtual machine 1 so now it connected to virtual machine 2 now let's create a custom command to create a custom command we have to use nano then vm2.sh enter okay so here you have to add ssh then you can specify the username what is the username of vm2 ubuntu at the right ip address of virtual machine 2 137 so we can save this uh, we can provide a permission of execution uh, plus x and the file name vm2.sh awesome we completed 90 percentage so let's try to execute this vm2.sh sh vm2.sh yeah awesome it's connected to virtual machine 2 now without any authentication because authentication i have been all already provided okay that's what so now let's copy this command from our current path to our uh, bin path now we have to copy this vm2.sh from the current path to uh, our bin directory user bin directory to do that we can execute cp minus rf uh, specify the file which you want to copy then slash usr then bin then the file name vm2 awesome we copied that file successfully so now we can execute vm2 you can see currently i'm in vm1 i'm executing vm2 and see this is connected to vm2 awesome guys awesome see the same method you can use for virtual machine 3 virtual machine 4 if you have a uh, uh, thousands of virtual machine we can create some dynamic script so i hope you understood how the system works now we can access to vm2 and vm3 by using a single command vm2 okay i have in configure vm3 i hope you understood how how this works you can just replicate the same step to virtual machine 3 okay okay i hope you understood guys so please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching my video bye